After holding a press conference outside, uncommitted delegates locked arms and walked inside the convention hall wearing Palestinian keffiyehs. What we're demonstrating is that in a party that stands for freedom, there should be space for freedom for Palestine. So we're taking up space as we walk a full lap of the halls of the United Center to stand for a free Palestine, to make sure that every person in this arena right now has to think about Palestine. The war has killed over 16,000 Palestinian children as the Israeli government uses bombs provided by the United States. We take up this space. We take this to the delegates head on, to our elected officials officials head on with our message of peace, of freedom, of no more war, of no more violence, a future safe for Israelis and Palestinians alike, Jews and Muslims alike. Safuri. Do you feel that the other delegates in this convention see you? I hope they do. I, I don't know that they have so far. I know that in the last couple of days, there have been a couple of moments where they have tried to block us. And when we did the roll call, there were delegates who stood up and took their signs, USA, USA, and blocked us so that the media couldn't see us. Now, that's not just having blinders on, that's putting blinders on. So we want to make sure that that doesn't happen anymore. I'm sure that the whole delegation, everybody here is seeing us now. We will win! We will win! I believe that 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 we will win! So that was the protest that that was the uncommitted delegates walking arm in arm inside the convention center through the halls before they took their seats in their various delegations meanwhile outside thousands of protesters marched on the dnc calling for an end to usa to israel the protesters rallied into the night as Kamala Harris accepted the Democratic presidential nomination on the DNC stage. Uh, they had planned to march toward the convention site, but were blocked by hundreds of police in riot gear who forced the march to disperse. Democracy Now!'s Maria Tarasena was in the streets speaking to protesters. If you had the opportunity to deliver a message to Vice President Kamala Harris, what would you tell her? I am asking her to look into her humanity and to look at photos like this and recognize that this is what happens every day, hundreds of times a day, for decades, and, and in particular the last 10 months. And our humanity, the Palestinian people's humanity, does not rely upon the humanity of others, meaning it does not need to be within that context, meaning I am sick of seeing media only relay the, the, the inhuman conditions in Gaza within the context or October 7th, within the context of what is happening to Israelis. It just has to stop. Could you describe the photo that you were showing us? This is a child that has been burned. There's no anesthesia. There's no um, antibiotics. The, this child is, is suffering in filth and pain. And this is just one out of tens of thousands. This didn't start on October 7th, and I don't think and it's ahistorical to pretend that it did. You know, this has been an almost century-long um, liberation struggle. My partner is Palestinian, and uh, everybody that knows a Palestinian um, knows their family's Nakba story. Uh, I know my partner's grandparents' Nakba story. They came from a town called Alid in 48. And, um, you know, you can't erase a people off the face of a planet. <laughs> well, I'm a Chicano. My family's from Guadalajara, so I'm wearing a, a, a Mexican flag around my back and a kafir around my neck and a socks hat on my head because I'm a Chicagoan. Ni de aquí ni de allá. But, you know, I don't know. I think that people in struggles recognize each other in this moment. The message we want to give is that uh, veterans 
we understand what self-defense, we understand what war is. What we are witnessing, the footage coming out, is not self-defense. This is not war. This is a genocide. We have a duty as a country to follow international laws, to respect the Geneva Conventions, and we're not doing that right now by unconditionally supporting a country, a foreign country, who's committing a genocide. Just a few of the thousands of people who marched through the streets of Chicago on Thursday night. Special thanks to Democracy Now!'s Maria Teresena and Hannah Elias.